All right, all right. So this is our second day in Monopoly. We missed the day, but uh, the fun is still, there is a lot of fun to do yet. So where are we going now? Eat fish. fish. Eating fish, right? So we're gonna eat fish in Monopoly. So this is how it looks like all around most of the city. Yeah, white houses, Arabic uh, windows, right? That's how they call it. And you get a lot of church. So, church everywhere. tourists. And loud bells. Asuna, what's up? <laughs> I really like it here, it looks like very old city. Yeah, it is old. I'm sure it's older than you. And they have this kind of window, you see? Yeah, arabesque. Yeah. Uh, these are originally from Persia. So these are, they have some names. Some call it arabesque relating to the Arab world and uh, some call it Persian, so related to Iran. And this you and know, narrow street looks like uh, Hara yeah. in, uh, in Cairo. Yeah, so they call it Biko or Bicho. Like this is the difference between the guys and the girls. Even though we're hungry, we can still smile, right? Yeah. Look, look at the girls now. They are so serious. Look at the girls. Can I get a hungry smile? Where are you? Where are you? No, it's difficult to get a smile here, guys. But we'll see after the food. Something, something that you always see in Monopoly. You always have restaurants and cafes everywhere. Literally for everything you want to eat and everything you want to drink. It's so cool here. Everybody's outside. It feels like nobody's eating at home, drinking at home. Coffee is like for one and a half euros, but the restaurants are the, the, not the cheapest. Yeah, we're having fun, right? Do you? Yes, I have your phone. My phone? I'm talking about you. Yeah, we're having fun. Yeah, and your phone as well. Yeah. <laughs> and this is how the lost girl looks like. Okay, we're trying to help you now. What did you take? Fish and chips. Fish and chips? Yep. What did you take? Two of us, two of us, you got no. Wow. Exactly the same Looks like nice. Oh, uh, what's that? I have a vegetarian burger. Vegetarian burger? Yeah. Wow. Can you open up? Give us a peek. Oh, that oh, looks has, nice. It has actually. fish, oh. like chips inside. Okay, cool. Oh, that's what you have. Fish and chips, nice. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to pick up the car and go to Loco. Loco Rotondo. Loco Rotondo. Roku Roku. You know where you're going? Roku Rotondo. Okay, nice. It's good that we all know where we're going. <laughs> this is, here's the sea over there, by the way. And I think this is the car. So we're now on the highway to Loco Rotondo. All of us. Guys, are you sleeping in the back? Say no. <laughs> no. Yeah, after after our food, we are all of us are so sleepy and we are we will be looking for some coffee. Right? An right. ice cream. An ice cream. ice cream. Luckily we found the parking and now we are in Loco Rotondo. We're gonna take a walk in the old town and see all the attrac attractions here. Ah, uh, so I think it's a quiet city, uh, except that it's Sunday. We're all up to tiramisu and coffee. Yep. I think this is what is famous about them, like these dooms. The one in Omdo. The one in Omdo. <laughs> exactly. Right, apparently we're at a very high elevation and we see people like this, you know, that's when you reach here. But I didn't bring my ruler, so I don't know how high are we. Asuna, are you high? Do you feel the height? We're on I a high elevation height. right now. I feel the height. So this is the most famous architecture for this city. Like you can see these dooms. We see pretty much a lot of them like almost everywhere. I think it's more like farmer houses, uh, but they have the cross on the top. I think we'll end up sitting there. So we'll take what we need from here. Probably try miso and some coffee or ice cream, and then we sit here and we'll have this view of the whole uptown. Yeah, so the streets are really beautiful here, to be honest, and everywhere is like that. So, this is the most famous thing about this city. We are in. Uh... <laughs> Do you know what's the name of this city? Uh, the name of this city is Alberto, I think. Alberto 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 Carlos Yeah, so I think it's quiet here But we saw that a lot of people in the city center near to the church and apparently there is Christmas here already Because it's a different calendar in Italy So here is the part I was talking about 
Hey, do you this feel Christmas? This is old town. This is old town. Do you, do you feel like, like Christmas? Yeah, but I need coffee first. Coffee. Coffee or Christmas? Coffee. For Christmas, you don't drink coffee. Yeah. For small people. Yeah. yeah. So there we have a city for small people. So we are now going to see the city. What are you gonna do to the small people? Small people? Yeah. Don't step on them. Okay, we'll not. We'll just carry so them. So giant. You gotta feel giant. <laughs> but it's there. It's working the wrong way. Uh, these guys are always thinking about food. Mario's gonna do something very illegal. So now we are approaching, uh, I think, the best scenario for these houses. Houses of the midgets or the smurfs from Disney. Definitely if you want to make sure that you have uh, good information, you don't take it from this YouTube channel. I recommend Wikipedia. Yeah, and you have on these stairs, there is something written on each stair. Oh, these are beautiful stairs, look at these. Aww. They're written definitely in Italian. My Italian is so good, but I don't want to translate because I'm tired. <laughs> As we go by the city, we see more of that. A lot more. Everywhere. And we still have Zuya. We didn't lose her. Well, also, it's a new day again and Monopoly. But we were looking for a boat to take a cruise. Uh, this cruise should be going by the caves, but they told us that it's not the best day today since we have uh, high waves today, so we're trying to scale it for tomorrow. And you guys seem happy. <laughs> Excited. We'll go to the beach. No, but anyway, we're still going. We're going to a new city that we haven't been there yet. We're going to Poligano Amar. So hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, stay with us. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Actually, I jumped already, but my friends forgot to record it, so I'm here in the audience part. <laughs> Whose fault is this? Whose fault is this that the audience didn't see how did I jump? Tell them how many flips I did, at least. Zero? That's three. Three. <laughs> Here we have the sea, it's pretty windy here, it feels like we're really on the open sea, which is great. And there are a lot of these pools, so we just had to walk a little bit from the Kala in the back, from the Kala Pura. And it's quite nice here actually, uh, less waves. This is our beach for today. Right, so here we are by the marina of Boligano. We're gonna take a boat privately. So the, actually the boat driver told us that he's going to fuel up. It's gonna be one of these. And we'll have two hours in the Boligano Sea. We'll see the caves and we'll jump in the water over there. The weather is quite nice. It's Tuesday morning, so it's not much people here in the marina. So kind of lucky, we're getting ready. Stay tuned. There's a restaurant right above the caves there. Well, so this uh, restaurant, guys, if you know how to jump off this cliff, you get all what you ate for free. So we're, we're trying hard on Zuja today. Zuja is going to do it for us, for the theme. No, give me a hug. Give me a five. She's going to jump and we're going to eat here for free. All right, so I was expecting some bats, but I see some pigeons living in the caves. These pigeons are dangerous. 
Probably these uh, pigeons that sell drugs in the pigeon's wallet. They live in the cave. Is it, this shouldn't be a bad house. I was watching wrong channel uh, from National Geographic. They told me that pets live here. All right, and this is the last part of the trip with the boat. We're gonna swim here. There's even a beach over there. And then we have here other boats around there. So we're gonna take a jump. So we start working by this side over there. It seems like the whole city was in the sea. So we'll take a walk there and see if there are any activities uh, or any places open. Probably grab something to eat too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they are they are discussing this packet is just like chefs, but we're having really nice view of the city as the light started to light up. To be honest, I started to like the city more. Right, so it's the end of September. I'm not sure if it's gonna rain today, but the, the forecast says this, it will be windy. We're still gonna go to the beach. But you see they are wearing something warm. Does it feel warmer now? No, no. I have not cold anymore. still. Still okay. We're still going to the beach. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it will be sunny in a bit. You always see nice architecture here in the cafes and every because facing every corner, um, a lot of restaurants. But like uh, normally, and breakfast, I'm not sure if they are. They tend to eat something more sweet. We're looking for something not really sweet with coffee. We're still in the process of finding breakfast. Start to be sunny finally, and we see the train the station and the. We have a little bit sandy, very nice sand and sunny, but a bit chilly. I'd say I don't feel very cold, but I think it's cold. And our Tuesday mornings, not a lot of people here. They come and watch these guys, they're so cool. So cool. I really wanted to do it this time, but I didn't know that I can. Yeah. More than three years. He reminds me of this uh, villain from Spider Man. <laughs> 